Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we're going to be laying down the law with some big bore carnage. This is a Ruger M77 Mark I, old school one with the tang safety, red butt plate, 458 Winchester Magnum. This cartridge was developed to compete with the 450 Nitro Express, which was a safari cartridge that was really gaining some steam and really gaining in popularity overseas and everything like that. So 458 Winchester Magnum was Winchester's answer to the 450 uh, Nitro Express. Uh, guys, these guns are intended for hunting dangerous game at relatively close ranges, and uh, they're meant to provide a very, very solid amount of energy going down range. We got a couple of different uh, rounds that we're gonna be testing here and just having some fun with, but we're gonna show you the amount of power uh, that this particular gun can generate and what it can really do. Uh, this is an older gun. Ruger uh, does not make this particular gun anymore. Uh, but you see there's no optic, although there is a spot on the receiver where you can mount rings and an optic. Really where this gun uh, is, is kind of a charm is just to use the iron sights and use it as kind of an up-close stalking type rifle. And that's really what this was intended to be for a lot of hunters, especially this particular rifle being kind of a lower cost option. This is a really good way to get into a safari gun for not a ton of money. Uh, these guns will physically harm you if you don't hold them correctly. Uh, for a big bore rifle, you really want to get that sling in tight. Spread your legs out a good bit. Put a lot of your weight uh, on your left foot if you're right-handed. Place the uh, buttstock smartly into your shoulder. Don't allow space. Don't allow the gun to jump and get momentum. You want to hold that butt in your shoulder nice and tight. Come in. Watch that thumb because it can really it can go back and bust you in the nose. And you want to hold it about like this. You want to, you want to like a boxer because you're, you're about to box. All right, first round we're going <laughs> to shoot. We got a, a Federal 500 grain soft point safari load. It is a magazine fed gun. We'll see if it'll feed three here. I've had a little bit of issue with, with these big old fat 500 grain bullets feeding out of this magazine. We'll see if they work or not. All right, got some pumpkins down range. I think it's quite clear to see where this is going. And I don't like that big bullet. Well, it punched right through. Didn't really give us the visceral damage we want up front, but Maybe have a look at the back of those pumpkins to see what happened. Entry, exit. Now remember guys, this is just a pumpkin. Let's step up to something a little bit more fleshy consistency. Let's break out the watermelons and see what happens. All right, this time we got some watermelons out there. Uh, we're gonna try a couple of different rounds. Well, we're gonna use the same federal round again, the 500 grain soft point, but we've also got a hand load here. It's a 300 grain Lehigh Extreme Penetrator on 72 grains of 3031. Let's see what that does. So first, the 500 grain Federal followed up by the 300 grain Extreme Penetrator. Oh yeah, here we go. Ever seen a watermelon disappear? You're about to. <laughs> Cinder. Whoa! Oh yeah, so that's a pretty good comparison, you know. 500 or 300 grains, doesn't matter. Something going down range with that kind of powder behind it, it's gonna cause a lot of damage. So I tell you what, let's double down on some five gallon buckets of water, see what happens with the same stuff. Okay, now with the water, a 500 followed up by two 300s. This thing kicks, buddy. These guns are fun to shoot, but they do kick. Alrighty, here we go. 500 followed up by two threes. <laughs> well, that 500 certainly did a better that, number. That 500 really emptied out that bucket pretty quick. Those XPs look like they just kind of punched right on through there. That's pretty cool, uh, not bad. One last thing, 
Let's have a little fun with some frozen turkeys. Let's do that. All right, now I know Thanksgiving's not too far away, but despite that, we're gonna go ahead and hit some turkeys with the 458 Winchester Magnum cartridge here. Uh, we're gonna use the 500s because they're yielding uh, just under 5,000 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, these things are getting down, and this is a uh, overkill, but why not? Well, you can't turkey hunt with a 458 Win Mag? I don't think it's legal to turkey hunt with this. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Lordy. Does not like that big nose on that bullet there. That second one came apart pretty good. That second one, whoo, buddy. Turkey salad. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching today's video. I'm gonna have to go get a massage now because my shoulder, it like knocked my glasses off my face a little bit there. Guys, these guns are ridiculously fun to shoot. Uh, 458 Win Mag's a heck of a cartridge. Uh, there are a lot of wildcats of this cartridge out there. You know, you got like 458 Lot, which I do believe now is a Sammy Spec cartridge. Uh, you know, a lot of mainstream uh, gun companies are, are making a 458 Lot. Uh, that's another story for another day. But let's just say 458 Lot is a lot more powder <laughs> in the same basic bullet and the same basic uh, gun design, everything like that. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We always love taking big bore stuff out and just putting big holes in things. Thank you so much to all of our fans that support our channel, both in Patreon and with uh, Man Can Sales. We greatly appreciate your support and your continued viewership. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the uh, you know, support that you give us on these videos in terms of positive commentary and all the cool things that you say, and it's just wonderful. You guys are great. Thanks for watching today's video. We'll catch you next time. I'm gonna go, uh, go get a massage now. <laughs>